Hey everyone, this is Custom Spray Mods, the show that goes over DIY auto painting, DIY custom painting, paint correction, and much more. With a team of professionals that have been in the trade for over 30 years, this is a show that brings you the best info when it comes to auto painting and repairs. To learn how to fix your car yourself, save yourself some money, hit that subscribe button, be a part of the experience. Alrighty, so in this episode, we're gonna go over how to fix gutter rash on your rims. I've got these gold rims here, gutter rash all over the edge of them. I've taken it to my local tire shop and they've separated the tire from the rim. That's just going to make it a lot easier repairing it. Uh, it's going to save a lot of masking up and it's just a lot easier to handle. So the first thing I need to do is get the colour matched. I'm going to take it to my local paint shop, get the colour matched. Um, I'm going to take the VG Auto Paints, they do it the best there. And um, let's go. Another great service that VG Auto Paints offer is that they can match your colour and pump it into a spray can. So if you don't have a gun, you can still get the job done. Okay, so I've had the wheels matched, I've got the correct colour now. Now I'm going to start repairing the gutter rash using some body filler. So the first thing I'm going to do is sand it with some 80 grit sandpaper. Then mix up my body filler and apply that into all the little, all little dents and scratches in the alloy. When mixing your body filler, make sure you don't put too much hardener in it. And you need to really mix it in as best as possible and get it to one uniform colour. Okay, so now I've let the body filler dry. I'm going to sand it with some 80 grit on the block and just knock that down using the 80 grit that's going to get it smooth. Okay now I'm going to use 240 grit. This is 240 grit dry. I'm going to go over the body filler repairs with that then I'll be ready for my primer. Okay, so I've repaired all the gutter rash with the body filler. I've sanded it with 80 grit and then I sanded it with 240 grit. Now I'm ready for my high fill primer and that's going to fill in any other scratches from the sandpaper. Now because we're going to have to paint the rim with paint and clear coat the whole rim, I'm going to um, scuff the rim down with um, scotch bright and some scuffing paste. That's going to allow the new clear coat to stick on there. If we were to just mask up around the rim and spray over the repaired area with colour and clear, then the clear is going to sit in the edge of that tape. When we pull the tape off, it's going to be a distinct line of clear coat around the wheel and it's not going to look good at all. So we're going to have to clear coat the whole wheel and that's going to make it look really good. So um, if you want to do it the right way, clear the whole wheel. Now because I only want to apply the high fill primer over my repairs, I'm going to mask up the rest of the wheel. That way I don't have to rub off the primer from the rest of the paintwork. Okay, so I've done all my repairs, I've scuffed the whole wheel, now I'm going to apply some 2K primer and that's going to fill in all the little scratches from sanding and it's also going to allow the new paint to stick on the repairs really well. So I've masked up the rest of the wheel that I don't want primer to get onto. Now I'm going to hit it with some 2K primer and go from there. Now you want to spray three coats of primer, waiting 10 minutes between coats. Okay, now that I've left the primer dry overnight, I can start sanding it with my 800 grit wet sandpaper. Spray some water on there, and that's going to make it extremely smooth, and then I'll be ready for my base coat. Now I'm going to clean the wheels with wax and grease remover, and that's going to prepare them for my colour. So I've sprayed my primer, I've sanded the primer down with the 800 grit, now I'm ready for my base coat. Now I'm only going to spray the base coat over the repairs and just blend the base coat into the rest of the colour. So I'm not going to spray the whole wheel with the base, 
just over the repairs. Then I'm going to clear coat the whole wheel. That's going to make sure I don't get any lines in my clear and the wheel's going to look awesome. Alrighty, so I've got my base coats down. Now it's time to put the clear coat on. This is the hard part. Um, the clear coat is probably the most important and hardest part of painting. So we have to be very careful. Make sure we got our mixes right. Paint strainer always helps. So a good tip when spraying clear coat is to spray one really light coat. They call that a tack coat. And then your second coat can be nice and heavy. And the first original tack coat is actually going to um, hold that second heavy clear coat on and kind of eliminate runs. So um, that's a little tip when you're spraying your 2K clear coat. Okay, so I'm going to let this clear dry overnight and then in the morning I can take it back to the wheel shop and they can put the tires back on for me. Well, there you go. That's how you fix gutter rash in your rims. Now, all these products are available in spray cans. Although it's not the best method to use, it is a lot cheaper. Either way, fixing your rims yourself is a lot more rewarding than getting someone else to fix it. If you do plan on taking on a project like this, I'd love to see some before and after pictures, and then I can post them on my website and Facebook so everyone can see. So until next time, my name's Dave, and that was Custom Spray Mods. See ya. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on our Project Gemini. It's getting close to becoming an awesome track, drift and burnout machine.